Welcome to Dear Veg Abby, a show with healthy advice. If you like what you hear, we hope you will tell your friends. I'm your host, April Dusick. Here's a letter from a listener in Lancaster, California. Dear Veg Abby, I have been diagnosed with osteoporosis. I'm taking calcium and a multivitamin. Someone told me vitamin K is important as well. What does vitamin K do for the bones? How much do I need? Signed, Harden My Bones. Dear Harden My Bones, you should always consult with your doctor, as I am not a doctor. I can tell you that according to Dr. Jane Higdon's research at the Linus Pauling Institute, that vitamin K is good for coagulating your blood or clotting, which is very important when one scrapes a knee or elbow. It clots up your blood, which you see as a hardened reddish patch that appears over your scrape, thankfully after a few days. So remember, vitamin K for clotting. Vitamin K is also good for mineralizing bone. Studies have shown that vitamin K helps lower the occurrence of hip fractures in older patients of both sexes. Food sources for vitamin K are raw and uncooked vegetable oils, such as olive, soybean, and canola oils. Avoid the hydrogenated or fried oils, even though they're yummy. Other food sources are broccoli, mayonnaise, uncooked kale, spinach, green leaf lettuce, Swiss chard, parsley and watercress oh i just love little watercress sandwiches with a bit of mayonnaise you cut them into four pieces and it's a party in your mouth there is no known overdose or toxic level of vitamin k thank goodness multivitamins tend to contain 10 to 25 micrograms of vitamin k while bone supplements may contain 100 to 120 micrograms now to decrease the risk of hip fracture according to the framingham heart study you would need to take about 250 micrograms a day or you could eat a large salad of mixed greens with a dash of olive oil or half a cup of chopped broccoli your choice i hope you found this informative thanks for listening Signed, Veg Abby. This is your host, April Dusick. Thank you for joining us today. Send Veg Abby your questions, and remember, eat your veggies and stay healthy. We would like to thank our online source for vitamin research information, which is an article called Vitamin K. It was written by Dr. Jane Higdon in May 2004. It was reviewed by Dr. Sarah L. Booth, Vitamin K Research Program, Jean Mayer, USDA Human Nutrition Research Center on Aging Tufts University. It was updated February 2008 by Dr. Victoria J. Drake from the Linus Pauling Institute and Oregon State University. The web address is lpi.oregonstate.edu backslash info center backslash vitamins backslash vitamin K. Thank you.